Fans, welcome back to the second half action here at Sam Stadium. The Los Fresnos Falcons lead the Hannah Eagles 21 to nothing. As the Eagles will be getting the ball here to start the second half. It's been the Javier Cruz and the Eli Cruz show. Eli Cruz scored the first two touchdowns of the night, one through the air and one on the ground. Then his quarterback, Javier Cruz, ran for a 31-yard touchdown right before the half ended to make it 21-0 Falcons. So once again, fans, the Hannah Eagles, last week's game against Mission, ended at halftime in a scoreless tie. A lightning delay was here at Sam Stadium, forced the game into a delay. Then the coaches elected just to say, you know what, let's just call it a game, considering it is non-district. So a unique way to end that week for the Eagles. Meanwhile, the Los Fresnos Falcons are looking to get back into the win column as they fell to the PSJ Bears last week. Right now, they lead the Eagles 21 to nothing. Second half is underway. Eagles, Falcons. And the Eagles will take this under the 10, 15, 20, still on his feet, 25, 30, and good starting field position. And he's met up by a couple of rather Falcon defenders. Will the ball be around the 35-yard line? <laughs> well, 34 is where they'll officially spot it. So a good kick return. As you see, the replay is a high kickoff. Fielded by Richard Martinez. Patiently weaving and making man miss. The ball will be on the 34-yard line, first and 10. Third quarter is underway here at Sam Stadium. Kevin Otto bringing you the play-by-play action. Tuning into valleycentral.com. First and 10, it'll be handed off to the running back. Running to the left with some room to run. Still on his feet, crossing the 40 down to the 39. That is Zavala, uh, the ball carrier. So a seven yard pickup on the ground. We second and three coming up. So a quick first half. Hit the 8.30 mark. We have already kicked off the third quarter. So we've We've avoided the rain for the most part, had an early shower in the first half of the game, and now the tailback will take it. Look at it across the 40 and does, or rather he's knocked right down at the 40. That is number 21. Again, Savala, the ball carrier. And the weather was definitely a factor in, in the earlier game. The Harlingen Cardinals took it to the uh, Rivera Raiders. 40 to 9 was the final score in that game. Brandon Garza, boy, did he put on a display for the Redbirds. And just a confusing and sloppy play from the offensive line. That'll result in a false start. Go figure. The offensive line a little bit out of sync. That'll back him up five yards. Be a third and eight coming up. Ball will be backed up to the 36 yard line. So a 21 nothing Falcons lead. Third and eight coming up. And it'll be a delayed draw. And it'll be again to Zavala. Red might Red met right back at the line of scrimmage. Andres Lopez is under center for the Eagles. So after that first down, they're going to have to look to punt for the first time here in the second half. They'll be punting from left to right. So after they picked up one first down, the Eagles will punt this one away. I'll be the Falcons football, they'll be going from right to left. Olivares back to punt this one away. It's a high punt. And 
will take a roll down to the 31 yard line. That's where they'll set up shop for the Los Fresnos Falcons. Alegria was the return man there. Kind of thought he was able to scoop up the football beforehand. But that wasn't the case. It'll be a handoff. Well, that was number 28 on the carry, picking up a couple of yards, weaving his way through defenders, a pickup of three. So it'll be a second and seven, ball on the 34, nine minutes in the third quarter. Falcons with a 21 nothing lead. Be second and six. Javier Cruz out of the gun for the Falcons. And he's going to call his own number here just as he did all the first half. This time the Eagles are there to stuff him. Just a pickup of one, that'll bring up a third and five. So third and manageable for the Falcon offense. The Eagle defense able to snuff that one out from the start. Maybe a little bit of adjustments have been made from their defensive coordinator, Danny Pardubo. So it'll be a low snap, able to pick it up, steps up in the pocket, slings it, pass the fall, incomplete. But a flag will come in from the far side of the field. So I'm going to hold the phone on that incomplete pass. And they're going to call it a holding against the Eagles. So that'll be an automatic first down for the Falcons. So the Eagles just when they thought they were able to catch a break. They'll commit the penalty, so it'll be a first and 10, ball in the 46. Falcons with the football, still in their own territory. Looking to get across midfield, calling his own number here again, getting around midfield, still on his feet. So again, Cruz calling his own number. That was a pickup of three. That'll bring up second and seven. Play clock down to 19 and counting. We're here at Sam Stadium. And again, the weather has been a lot nicer tonight than it was in the early part of today. The 11 o'clock game between the Cardinals and the Raiders had a couple of heavy showers coming through the Brownsville area. And they're going to bring the blitz. Falcons pick it up. And again, on his feet still. Down the 30, down to the 25. And a big pickup there from Javier Cruz. He was able to hit that corner and run down the sideline before he was shoved out of bounds. So it'll be a first down Falcons. And they are in the red zone. Ball is on the 19. So a 32 yard run. First and 10 for the Falcon offense. They're knocking on the door yet again. And it'll be another quarterback keeper, Screws. Actually able to pick up a couple of yards there. So they'll credit him with a one yard pickup. That'll bring up a second and nine. Falcons with the football in the red zone, 21 nothing lead. Stepping back to pass, flings it to the left, got a man. In the end zone, did he hang on? Incomplete, but flags will fly in. The referees wave it incomplete. So now the officials will have a discussion, see what they saw in the area of passing interference. Not sure whether it'll go against Alegria. And it is offensive passing interference. 
An Alegria. So it'll be a turnover on downs. It'll be the Eagles football. So the Eagle defense standing tall on that drive. Falcons elected to go for it on fourth down. Why not? You have a 21 nothing lead. You're in enemy territory. So not a bad call there from head coach Clint Finley. Eagles with the football out of the gun. Three receivers set. Stepping back to pass is Lopez. Steps up, fires down the field, and it is just a bit underthrown. Tipped in the air, and it'll fall incomplete. I mean, his hand on the turf is Lopez. He knew he had a man just a tad bit underthrown. He had the one on one coverage down the left side, the far side of the field. Pass just fell incomplete. Well, that play didn't count anyways. It'll be an illegal procedure against the offense. That'll back them up five yards. So the ball will be on the 15. It'll be second and 15 coming up. First and 15, Eagles with the football. So after that illegal procedure, it'll back the offense up five back the offense up five yards. That'll be a, a handoff to the right. Oh trying to nitpick their way through the defense. Got Soria in on the tackle. The senior D lineman. Pick up of three. So to bring up a second and twelve. Ball on the 18-yard line. We're tuning in to ValleyCentral.com. The Hannah Eagles and the Los Fresnos Falcons, not too far away from Brownsville. It's right down Highway 80, 100. So it'll be a play-action pass. Looking back, throw has a man down the seam, and a big hit delivered from their safety, Alegria. The intended wide receiver was Richard Martinez. Hey, kudos to Martinez. He, 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 was in his he jumped up, leaped for the ball, just wasn't able to make the reception. Look at the replay. Ball was up. Martinez nearly came down with a phenomenal grab, but Alegria was there to break up that pass and putting the wood on the intended, the intended receiver. The third and 12 coming up, ball on the 18 yard line, looking back to pass, looking to his left. The pass will sail over his head and fall incomplete. Olivares, the intended wide receiver, so playing a little bit of punter, quarterback, and receiver is Olivares. Oh, yeah, and along with a kick return as well. So to bring up a fourth and 12, ball on the 18 yard line, the Eagles will be punting away to the Falcons. Alegria back to field this punt. Olivares will be punting away. Snaps there. It's a low kick. And it'll be 45. Rolling out at the 50 to the 49. We'll see where they mark it. So they'll spot it at the 48-yard line. So the defense for the Eagles will come out onto the turf as well as the Falcon offense, they'll get a second crack at it, looking to get on the scoreboard and to extend their lead. They lead the Eagles 21 0, 522 remaining in the third quarter here at Sam Stadium. Game two of the doubleheader. We had an 11 o'clock game this morning. Myself and Joe Bowling brought the live action. 
Now a flag will come in. It's going to be a false start around, around the right side of the offensive line. So that'll back him up five yards. So first and 15 coming up. Ball be backed up. The 43 yard line, the scoreboard will indicate. First and 15, looking back to pass. Steps up, fires, nearly intercepted. And Freddy De La Garza, Red Cruz's eyes just like a book. Nearly picked off that pass. Tell you one thing, Delegatas, I was already thinking six. Second and 15, ball in the 43, 517 remaining. And the third quarter, special thanks to BISD TV 17, along with the Action 4 News crew, making this telecast possible, all the hardworking students from Bronzeville Porter. Special shout out to them, and down he goes! Not one, not two, but three Eagles applying the pressure, and down goes Cruz. Checking the replay, the Eagles brought the house. He had nowhere to go. So be third and a mile coming up for the Falcon offense. They need 24 yards to pick up a first down. So, hey, kudos to the Eagle defense. They've answered the call here in the third quarter. The offense is going to have to get something going here. Stepping back to pass. Goes deep down the field and tipped and nearly intercepted on a diving defender. That was Javier Ochoa diving for the football. Incomplete pass. So it'll bring up a fourth and 24. Now a flag will come in. Maybe a 12-man penalty, not sure. Yeah, it'll be against the Falcons. So that'll push them back another five yards. So now Coach Finley wants an explanation from the officials. So now it'll be fourth and 29. Eagles should get the ball with good field position. That punt nearly blocked. And calling a fair catch. It's around the 36 to the 37 yard line. So the Eagles will have the football they only trail by 21, a quick touchdown here. And if their defense can keep it up, get a couple of more stops for their offense, hey, you never know. We've seen crazier things, haven't we? 21-0, Falcons lead the Eagles. And it'll be a handoff, looking to get to the right side, crossing the 40, and down he goes by a couple of Falcon defenders on the carry for the Eagles was Zavila. Right around the four minute mark. Ball on the, the Eagles own 43 yard line. So other than that one early shower we had in the early parts of the first quarter, it's been dry here at Sam Stadium. Second and five coming up, looking to pick up a first down and again they'll stick to the ground game, giving it to Zavila again. So we'll see where they spot this one. Spot at the 46 yard line, so it'll be third and two. So we've seen this third and short for both teams. The Eagles were able to turn it two yards into 29 yards. 
or 15 yards on a couple of plays when they needed the first down and got more. Let's see if they can do it again. And the defensive line from the Falcons jump. Some of the Hanna fans are signaling it's against the defense. And yes, it is an offsides against the Falcons. So the ball will now be on the 49 yard line. And they'll get the free five yards. They only needed two. So it'll be an automatic first down. First and 10, ball on the 49. And it'll be a play action, picks up the block, steps up in the pocket, fires deep down the field, balls up for grabs, tipped. And his intended man, that was Richard Martinez. He had his man downfield. We're gonna see if we can get a replay. The Eagles will come to the line. Didn't get a replay on that one, but he had his man down the field. Pass was just batted away from their defensive back. And it'll be a delayed draw. Try to break it to the outside. Is Zavila crossing midfield down to the 45, down to the 40. And drug out of bounds. Agria in on the tackle. So now we get the replay. Try to bounce it to the outside. Is Zavila and Agria in on the tackle. Pass breakup just a couple of plays ago. Now she's just doing it all for the Falcons. Second and one coming up. Ball right on the 40 yard line. And it'll be an end around and he'll pick up the first down. Will he be able to? No, it's gonna be close. They're going to mark him just shy of the first down. So good stop there from the Los Fresnos defense. Be a third and one coming up. They need one yard to pick up the first down. I want to say it's fourth down. The scoreboard still indicates third down. Now they'll take an official timeout. They need one more yard to pick up the first down. You're tuning in to valleycentral.com. We're going to take a quick break in the action. Falcons lead the Eagles 21 to nothing. Welcome back to the action. Fourth and one coming up. Scoreboard has been corrected. Ball on the 40 yard line for the Eagles. They'll be going for it. They're in enemy territory. And there'll be a handoff. Ran into his own. <laughs> the running back, Zavala, ran into his quarterback. Forced him to go a couple yards back. So now it'll be a turnover on downs. That's just a tough break there for the Eagles offensively. Looked as if he had some running room to pick up that one yard for the first down. But that wasn't the case. So it'll be ball on the 49. And they'll get the quick screen out to the far side of the field around the 38 yard line. 
And our very own Mr. Joe Bowling is out roaming the sidelines, catching some highlights. Tonight on Action News Action Action 4 News tonight. Here's the highlights, the 10 o'clock news. In the final minute, the snap will go over his head. Ball still on the ground. But the Falcons are able to recover. Some of the Hanna fans are kind of waving their hands up in the air, kind of wondering what's going on. So the clock will continue to wind down. 30, 37 seconds and counting. So this isn't the blowouts I've come accustomed to seeing in the past couple of weeks. The Eagles are down but not out. Final 20 seconds in the game. I'm going to fake the quick screen. He's going to call his own number. Here's the quarterback, Luis. Luis Cruz, or rather Javier Cruz. He's a quarterback. He's coming over fourth down is what the scoreboard is indicating. So that will be the final play of the third quarter. We're going we're gonna to switch sides. Falcons 21, Eagles nothing. You're listening to valleycentral.com. <laughs> 